let us study about the differences between progressive wave and standing waves so whatever is given here is just summary of what we learned earlier the first difference is in case of a progressive wave the wave travels only along one direction if it is a 1d wave or the energy or momentum travels in two directions if it's a 2d wave but the idea given here is when it says one direction it means whether it's a 1d wave or a 2d wave or 3d wave from a given source from a given disturbance the energy will keep on traveling or momentum will travel the energy will not come back that is the meaning of a progressive wave the energy will keep on traveling away from the source but will not return to the source while in case of a standing wave a wave travels in both directions as seen earlier standing waves means waves which are confined in a given region for example if we look at a string in case of a guitar and somewhere in between the string it has been plucked or a small disturbance is given here then waves will travel in both the directions these waves would reflect and superimpose and what we get is standing waves so that is the first difference second difference is all particles on a progressive wave are in a state of vibration so whenever a wave travels for example think of a single string which is attached to only one end or for example think of sound waves for example think a person standing somewhere here and there is some disturbance a sound is produced so when a sound wave travels each particle in the medium will vibrate so in case of a progressive wave all the particles will vibrate but in standing waves we are saying that here also almost every particle vibrates except the particles at nodes so at nodes the particles will not vibrate that is the second difference between progressive waves and standing waves the third difference is in case of a progressive wave all the particles will have a constant or same amplitude for example if we look this as a say a progressive wave then every particle will have the same amplitude to be covered it has same amplitude that is every particle will vibrate between the two extreme ends like this so they'll have the same amplitude to be covered this is for a progressive wave but in case of a standing wave we saw that the amplitude the resultant amplitude which was called as capital a that was given as 2a into sine of kx which means the amplitude depends on the distance also or distance only so that is the third difference fourth difference is in case of progressive waves it transports energy so energy moves from one point to another point while in standing waves the energy is confined in a given region only in a given space only so here we can say that it does not transfer energy which means the energy is confined to a given region only so these are the differences between progressive waves and standing waves